Amanda, how do you cope with boredom and loneliness? I uh, get on the internet and uh -huh. just shout into the void of nothing. God! Ah! Go to various comment sections and just scream into uh. the comment section. <laughs> not a pro, not a con, just ah! Pretty much. Well, we're going to find out how uh, how to cope with boredom and loneliness here on the Dojo on Rage Slate. I'm Jeff. I'm Amanda. Uh, this is a, a guide for the isolated. This is a weirdo free indie game because, man, there ain't shit out. There ain't shit. So we're going to check it out. We looked at the trailer for this. It seemed pretty cool. I don't know if cool is the word I'd use for it. We looked at this and it seemed like a functional video game it, as opposed to it welcome. It looked weird. Oh, you are Nigel Wimble, hard-hitting PBTV documentary filmmaker. Yes. Yeah, My finally. <laughs> dreams have been answered. Okay. It's creepy when he just looks at us through You're the window. You were at 23 Millberry Close. Close? To film to finish filming the final episode of your award winning series. Yeah. How to cope with boredom and loneliness. Do we have a um, sweet mustache? I think we do. I think that's what that's supposed to be. It's a sweet nose is right about there. This maybe his mouth. Yeah. I like how big his microphone is. He can't even get his hand around We're it. We're compensating. You've come to talk to Harold Fletcher, a forty three year old man who has been grounded to his bedroom for over thirty years. Wow. Okay. All right. Since his mother, Margaret, only allows Harold visitation for 15 minutes a day, you only have enough time to talk about three topics. Carefully, Carefully choose three items of interest from Harold's room to learn how he copes with boredom and loneliness. Every item tells a story, mm -mm. but not every story is relevant to Nigel's show. Confirm your selections and then watch the documentary unfold. Oh. Okay. All right. Your show will be scored by a focus group at the end. Good luck. Okay. All right. I want... Uh, guitar. Okay. Examine guitar. Think about guitar. Select guitar. Examine guitar. How long has Harold been playing guitar? Is it baby cakes? What if I've discovered a virtuoso that looks well used? Okay. Mother says I sing like a dog. Howling in agony. Okie dokie. So then what is... Th Potential cell bite. Music... Does it, he sounds like Baby Cakes, right? I'm trying to think of who Baby Cakes is. The guy from the Professor Brothers or from uh, that one guy, he's like, he does raps. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so I, don't know. I, I, I will show you later. He sounds like Baby Cakes. Okay. Uh, okay, so you want guitar, right? I want guitar. I choose guitar. Okay, I will select guitar. Um, bed, Margaret. B poster. Uh -huh. What's this B poster? What was the KGB movie? The KGB. Oh my god. <laughs> That's was amazing. This the last movie Harold went out to see. The KGB. Boris is actually ex KGB. Ah. He fights for us now. It shows people can change, mother. This is why I don't allow Harold to watch movies. I like it's anymore. all the same voice. Rotting his mind yeah. with Soviet propaganda. That's obviously, this is just made by like one person over a weekend or something this like is, that. Yeah, a great weekend. Yeah. Potential soundbite. Some movie. movies. Movies are an escape from reality. reality. That's true. Okay. For Harold, his reality is like a movie. <laughs> One of those terrible indie movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. We got fish tank, paper stack, TV, clock, mural, rabbit. I do love that rabbit. Telescope. We got Margaret. We got the bed. We got Harold. Let's take a look at the rabbit. This oversized cuddly toy looks like it's grown old with Harold. Looks so sad. I oh. bet a story about these two growing up could pull at the heartstrings. Wait, what are those stains? Oh no, is he? Kevin's been rather good to me over the years. <gasps> oh, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Harold and Kevin. Harold and Kevin. Potential are... soundbite. Harold and his co-prisoner, an overstuffed rabbit. Yeah, overstuffed indeed. He just looked so they sad. They each other to ease the loneliness. No. Oh. for the hankies? Oh, maybe. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> TV. How about his mom? Let's see. Harold's mother, Margaret. How long was God, she... she looks so me? mad. Considering Is this like a big... I wish you'd stop staring at me, Mr. Wimble. <laughs> Who doesn't need a father? <laughs> Whoa, no, no. Wait, what? <laughs> Does this supposed so to be like a big brown mole? I think so. You know those that have like hair growing out of it? Yeah, oh, the one so like the long curly hair. Yeah. special it can be. Heaven's mother's love is special. But not the kind of special love I'm looking for on a Saturday night. <laughs> what? what? Oh, my goodness. Okay, how about this clock that's like a, like a crab? 
I couldn't help but notice the novelty crab claw. <laughs> Sometimes to combat loneliness, the Is isolated the can attribute personality to inanimate objects. I don't know. It Nothing looks like the crab's like, I don't know. Oh, Harold loves that clock. We sometimes use it to time the intervals between Harold being naughty. For every five minutes, he's good. I don't smack him around the head. Damn! Wow, Harold's she's... mom? Potential soundbite. For Harold, the watchful clock. Should we, should we just look at everything and then we'll make anyway, some more decisions? Uh, I'm not against that. You. Okay. Oh, it's fucking majestic, Nigel. <laughs> Goddamn, Nigel, you're the best! You're the greatest! Right. Yes! Nigel. Okay, let's take a look at this trick. Toy truck made by Harold's father, perhaps. That's a bit of a leap. Maybe I can trigger a painful memory. <laughs> <laughs> You're oh, an Harold asshole. Harold never plays for that. After everything, his father did for him. <laughs> okay. Potential soundbite. The poorly carved toy truck serves as a reminder <laughs> of an absent wow. father. This is so well, weird. Sometimes life on the road means, Mommy, when's Daddy coming home? Well, that's going to hit hard. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Do you ever watch those BBC documentaries? Mm -hmm. it seems like they'll make a documentary about, like, anything. Yeah, no, I, I've seen, like, clips from some, like, I used to, but I don't seek them out. Yeah. I'm not one of the... Empty Aquarium. <laughs> Pet fish. An empty aquarium. Business to their environment. Well, I can draw a great parallel to this. Harold's father was never there, so I got him a fish. What did he do to the fish? Potential soundbite. Like the fish, Harold is swimming in the sea of isolation. Okay. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty cool. I yeah, like this. Yeah, this is hilarious. It looks like a screen. <gasps> is he writing a movie? Is writing a movie? Is it KGB like fan write write fiction? Drama set in science fiction landscape. What? Oh, Who doesn't? First of all, that has to be selected. Yep. Potential soundbite with Hollywood already <laughs> Deranged <filmed>. idiots? <laughs> Could there be room for one more? <laughs> uh, yes, we are yeah, definitely we're, yeah, 100 selecting 100% selecting yep. erotic fiction. Uh, uh, all right, let's the look at the mural. mural and then the uh, a mural telescope. Yeah. Wall. Two fish swimming away from each other. Or it's just finding Did Dory. Did paint this as a metaphor? But the relationship with his <sighs> Is this hair? That was the first and last time Harold scribbled on his wall. I beat the ever-loving shit out of him. I mean, like, in some ways, though, this is... this is. I like that you get a little bit of the Michael crab in Angelo, there. Oh, yeah. Leonardo da Vinci, that guy with no ears, and now have <laughs> Fletcher? Have Van I discovered Go? a tortured <laughs> artist? He had ears. He cut off one of them, I guess. He All cut right, off let's part take... of one of them. Harold's only view to the larger world is through this telescope. I bet it's aimed at somebody's Breaks room. Your heart. Okay. okay. It breaks your heart. Hope. from 94 is rather slender. <laughs> okay. Potential soundbite. Well, we still have the bed the sky, and Harold and his mom. Where oh, okay. Are. I do well, like the bed. Poetic. I don't know if I want to know more details about the rabbit. Oh, wait. And the TV. Oh, yeah. It's like a TV. modern TV. I'm surprised his mother allows him to watch television. He's allowed that on no later than 8 p.m. Damn, dude, he can watch Star Trek. Potential soundbite for the isolated idiot. Jesus. Television <laughs> isn't an escapism. We I'm gonna follow. Fuck you, Nigel. I'm 100% gonna follow you around talking like that now, Jeff. Oh, hi, Jeff. <laughs> How old's Mother Margaret? How are you doing? How <laughs> will she punish him for? Oh. I wish oh, wait, oh, we already did this did. one. Yeah, yeah. we already checked on her. Doesn't need a father. Right, okay. Bed, save. A 42-year-old man still sleeping in a plastic He's standing on top of bed. It's a sweet oh, race car. And it's just what I'm looking for. What? Oh, Harold loves cars and sleeping. It only made sense to combine his passions. Okay. Uh, why can't I do three things? I want to do all the things. Right. So a sleep in his race car bed. I imagine how it dreams of driving oh, off this, this road, road of isolation. isolation. Do you ever have a, a cool bed? <laughs> Fucking nailed it. No, man. Uh-uh. Uh, uh, do we do all of them? Oh, and then there's Harold. Harold Fletcher. A curious man. I so think we can't curious put Harold in there because the documentary is about Harold. Right, okay. Is this going to take long? Mother says visitation is only 15 minutes today. Even though you're the first visitor I've ever had. Wow. 
Okay, uh, uh, so we've got the screenplay, the guitar. Let's do the telescope. Okay. I think the, the telescope will work. All right, so we've got all those. And what are the options here? Oh, that's just like the okay, game options. Ooh, I uh, thought you were going to hit exit game. <laughs> I was going to be like, Jeff, don't you fucking do this. Nope, not after we started a different game that would just crash. All right, let's see what our documentary is like. All right, yay. yay. We, we created a movie. We helped. It was shake and bake. Mm -hmm. We helped. And I helped. Tonight at 9 on PBTV, <laughs> we have the final part of Nigel Wimble's hard hitting <laughs> docuseries, How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness, A Guide for the Isolated. In tonight's episode, Nigel looks at a special <laughs> It's a weird a affectation. He's grounded to his bedroom for over 33 years. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Hi, Nigel Wimble! Well, Harold's always been a naughty boy. He's been quite out of hand, you know. I've only got one nice picture of him, and even in that, he's pissing on the cat. <laughs> what? Whoa, dude! Whoa, <laughs> dude! Was... In the end, I sent him to his bedroom, and the bad behavior seemed to stop. So I've kept him up there permanently. Uh huh. I'm with yeah. you. I had a look around Harold's room to discover what he uses to cope with the boredom and loneliness from 33 years of isolation. Okay. All right. Let's see Come it. on, guitar. Music can take you to places only your ears can see. <laughs> Jesus, Nigel. Harold's vessel to unseen worlds. Oh, wait, we got to get the focus group the test at the end, right? Yeah. If Mother allows it, I will play you a new piece I've been working on, entitled Plastic Race Car Bed. Please let it be death metal. Please let it be death metal. I'm like, I'm hoping for, like, transcendental folk metal. <laughs> <laughs> this little animation. Sitting in my car, my little plastic car, yes, here we are. Oh my car. I feel like my Tom Green uh, vibes off this. Yeah. Actually, not against this song, though. Not in my car. His tires are made of asphalt rocks. Oh. Who says you need Sorry, to know anything to make I a video game? I've heard a new song in 33 years. Despite the screenplay Harold had been working on. Are you just getting you achievements for everything? Baking. Okay. Uh, yeah. You suddenly wouldn't look at a place in Hollywood. <laughs> he decided to take that. Some lines from his new screenplay card, Brad oh, no. Planet and the Tentacle Brad of Planet. Temptation. Not Brad Planet. She ran a slightly damp tentacle ah. across his cheek as he gazed longingly into her compound eyes. Ah. I don't care that you tried to bite my head off during coitus. I love you, Sheila. Run okay. away to Planet Vargon with me. <laughs> I'd watch that movie. I love you too, Brad. You've 100% read that book, Jeff. Me talk nah. He'll understand once I show him how I'm much I love you. I'm not into what, the, what crypto... He'll come here and kiss me. Crypto oh, whatever. Sheila passionately kisses Brad with her four mouths. Ew. Brad slowly sticks his finger into her gooey... Hex! That will do, Harold. You're a bloody space pervert. <laughs> you're a space, space pervert, pervert, Harold. Yeah, you're a bloody space you pervert. fucking space pervert. <laughs> With an eye in the sky, you can sometimes forget where your feet are. That's but beautiful. He never forgets where his feet are, but still. I wonder if they're going to make us watch stars. the same beginning part over and over again. Well, I'm wondering if we just get different sections of the house or something. Oh, afternoon. yeah. Sometimes I'll pretend I'm a World War II sniper and people <laughs> at the bus stop are advancing. Jesus, journeys. Harold. They wouldn't stand a chance if it was a sniper rifle, let me tell you. What? They could try taking cover, Harold is being but I'm a pretty bit sure naughty. the bullets would penetrate the bus shelter. It would be an absolute bloodbath. Jesus. I think Harold's commented on my YouTube channel before. <laughs> <laughs> my time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Okay. Until then, he will continue to look for ways to cope with boredom. I just—I feel like he's gonna I fall asleep at any second. Yeah. Good night. Join us next week as Nigel investigates Jesus. Did he really have a beard? <laughs> 9 p.m. Wednesday night on PBTV. PBTV. Okay, so let's get our ranking. Focus group report. Very poignant moment when he pulled out the guitar. 10 of 10. Screenplay sounded hot. When's part two coming out? 10 yeah. 10. Alan from Wallowdale. This is John from Bishop's Wig. I, I use, use my, my <laughs> telescope the exact same way. Yep, Pat from Whipple End. And then is this? That's our coffee. This is like corn chowder. Yeah. Big steaming cup of corn chowder. Oh, listen, it's the plastic car song. <laughs> Yay. 
Or is that the whole game? And I we think just that's the whole. Let's see. Okay. I bet that if we. Hmm. Oh no, wow. No, okay. Do well. Do one last three. Yeah, you know what? We may make this just a short video. Okay. Um, yep. No, I I got it. So let's see. What else do we want? I think I want the KGB. Uh, <laughs> God, that name is so good. Yeah. Uh, his mother, maybe. I want the toy truck. The toy truck. Wait, did we do the the? We didn't do the rabbit. The we rabbit. Did do the rabbit and, and the, the truck. Or do we do something uh, else? Do the mom. The mom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna have to go back through all the main. Can we skip? Like a head? I don't know. It's not really very much of a game, but it's also free. So, yeah. you know. Like I mean, if... it's still fun. Oh. Isolation is no joke, Jeff. Wait, did I? It's not just boring. It's lonely, too. Wait, is this different than the first time? Nobody understands it's that more than the subject of tonight. Is this the same thing that he said the first time? I don't think so. With boredom and loneliness. A guide for the isolated. Hello. <laughs> I'm How long do you think this game took to make? Uh, two, weeks. To two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Okay. The it's art, the like pixelation years. reminds his me of uh, a rare glimpse into his uh, life Code Monkeys. Do you remember Code son. Monkeys on G4? On oh, yeah. 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 I was uh, thinking of uh, Tim Thimbleweed Park. Oh, yeah. Which I still wanted to go back and play again. Yeah, this is slightly different than it was the first time. I noticed a poster for an old children's movie. For some, movies are an escape from reality. The Herald, this reality is like a movie. A depressing TV movie. Starring actors you haven't seen in 20 years. I do love getting lost in a good movie. I think Boris the KGB movie was the last time I did get lost in a movie. It was the last time Mother rewarded me for good behavior. So do you I think the mother like is yesterday. overreacting or that uh, Harold's really a shit? I don't know. Boris the KGB movie was a 1986 children's movie. It was banned one week after release. No. What? Why? Because it was Russian propaganda. Full frontal nudity? Oh. Is this the, is this the KGB movie? Yeah. I'm a be a mean, I'm a new intellectual, I'm Russian, you see, I'm the homosexual. What? What? I'm gonna ride your drinks been laced, I'm gonna tie you up, polynate your face. Oh my god. What in the world? Oh my god. First of all, I'm so sorry we didn't pick this the first time around. To the mother bus and be Oh my god. Please, you don't have to do this. It was just business. It was all about the honey. I'm not a traitor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. You have to see. Oh, it's like a rap <laughs> opera. I don't, I don't know. know. Oh, the KGB, you're just a super worker bee. Prison number 33, you have another broken knee. Would you like a cup of tea? That was just a joke. You see, you'll never see a cup of tea. As long as you're a lucky Dude, I... Uh, these are some sick, uh, sick bee rhymes they got yeah, going on yeah, here. It's not the worst <laughs> song I heard. I to please, I got a lap and a hammer and some antifreeze. Is it hard to speak? God damn, this is actually pretty good. <laughs> Jeff, this is, Jeff is definitely gonna get drunk, play video games, and listen to the soundtrack of KGB. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Duh, I mean, like, it, it didn't have to go on that long. It didn't have to be that well written. It had no right to be. used to say, Oh, behave, brother. <laughs> get it? Behave. It was awfully funny when mother used to tell me to behave, and I'd retort, Oh, behave, mother. Do you remember that, mother? <laughs> yes, I do remember, you cheeky little shit. <laughs> hey, mother, I put you over a knee, but you didn't tell the man that, did you? Have you seen the version on YouTube where the movie speeds up every time Boris kills him? That's okay. <laughs> it becomes quite dizzying. All right. Oh, yeah. uh, we got the behave brother achievement. That's amazing. Oh. Uh, oh, my God. Why is he sitting on it like that? It's like a beanbag chair. I guess. But at least had Harold, could you please close your legs for this shot? No, this is how I sit. Kevin is a dear friend. We've become rather close over these past few years and perhaps more than just friends at this stage. Oh, no. What do you mean by that? Don't but ask. Kevin has needs and... I have needs. Kevin no, doesn't have needs. Are you ever sewing that towel back on? <laughs> <laughs> we saw this kind of thing in our prison episode, so I'm not entirely surprised to see it happen in here, too. Wow. <laughs> this one is way darker than the first one. Yeah. 
whether this the arrangement decided to remain quiet <laughs> during the making of this documentary. Does Kevin have a song? Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus, that achievement was called Stuffed. Warden, from room to room. From room to room. Do you worry about the harm this isolation good, may be causing? Harry? Good little pixel oh, art. This yeah. on himself. What about me? I've been isolated too. I haven't had sex since Harold's father died. You tried Kevin? No I mean, never wants to be stepped Kevin seems to that DTF. Yeah. You should be making this documentary about me. I'm the one being punished. I'm so lonely, Mr. Wimble. Well, oh, no. Okay. Well, that was it? Wow, this was a dark one. My time with Harold has come to an I end. I don't know. I, 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 I kind of want to try again. The B rap was incredible. Yeah. So. Do you think we'll get anything <laughs> as good as the B rap? I don't, I have, don't think okay, so. We have Crab Clock. Oh, Crab Clock. Yep. There's crab Clock, baby. Uh, TV. There's the truck. Wait, there, yeah, it's different. Why so many stomachs? Why so many stomachs, cows? Just, just have one. Why? Yeah. What's up, you know what? cows? You fucking greedy cows. <laughs> yeah. Why you gotta be like that, cows? Uh, Bad. I wish that mother <laughs> would behave. Touching stuff, seven to ten. Wow, hard hitting stuff. Anyone know where I could order a rabbit like that? Ugh. <laughs> and oh hot mills in your area market sound DTF. Can you give her my number? Uh, one out of Gary ten. the perv. Gary the perv. All right, let's do one more. Let's yeah. do one more. Oh, okay. I so it's still just sitting car, in my yeah, car. I, I wanted it to be the the, the B. The, the fucking B song <laughs> was. God, it was it was hot that as hell, B, man. That B song changed Jeff's life. <laughs> it was so good. I like. I want to listen to it again. Okay, okay. so what do you want? Uh, uh, well, we definitely want to do. Wait, do we have enough to do? Uh, two, three, and then one, yeah. two, yeah. three. Yeah. So. We can do all of them, right? Uh huh. Okay, so let's just let's just roll down the list. Clock the truck. Clock and truck the tank. Fish tank. Yeah. I'm All right. Sitting in my car. <laughs> oh man, B rap, B rap. Nah. It's was it? <laughs> that KG B rap too violent for me. I don't like that violent rap. Are you sure this is the saddest music you could find? <laughs> He's such an asshole. Nigel Wimble, award-winning winner. winner. <laughs> Tonight on PBTV, I'm here to meet a man named Harold Fletcher. This is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Probably going to get about 30 Howard minutes total for, for all of it from years. start to finish. So, yeah, nice putting it out as a little free that thing. That song, We've both those songs are going to live on forever. Yep. His mother, yep. Margaret, the warden to Harold's prison. Also, the, the term bloody space pervert. <laughs> you bloody space pervert. That's going to be. Oh, you bloody space pervert. Will you? We hope he can explain to us how he Jesus. comes with the boredom and loneliness. Oh, boy. Okay. 30 years of isolation. 30 years. I wonder if there's one where, like, if you do all of them, if oh, it unlocks something. The watchful clock is ever ticking. In a way, time has been... Do you have an alarm clock anymore, clock Amanda? No, I've I use my cell phone. hated crab clock. He's always been there mocking me with his incessant ticking and talking. Did you know he's ticked roughly one billion sixty million six hundred and eighty thousand and one, two, three times since my incarceration? Oof. No. I didn't bother counting the tox. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the achievement is Wilson. <laughs> a poorly carved toy truck. I don't think this was going to be very good. A reminder of an absent yeah. father. But sometimes life on the road means, Mummy, when's Daddy coming home? Harold's father has been absent for most of his life, mostly owing to the fact that he's dead. Jesus. Damn. He was involved in a massive collision, resulting in 52 deaths. Father made me this truck himself. He said he used to work on it while he was on long journeys. The police officer said he was whittling the last piece when his truck collided with the school bus. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Father driver tinker die. Okay. Hours to the peace and tranquility this is a boring one. I think really we lost sad. all the funny music oh, ones. Yeah. Swimming in a sea of isolation. I mean, he wanted a sad. I sometimes look at the fish tankers as if it is my bedroom and I am mother. But then I felt it wasn't fair to keep the fish isolated like me. So I set it free. What did you do with the fish? Well, I took it to school to release into the nearby brook. But by the time I had got there, it had dried out in my pocket. <sighs> Good God. <laughs> okay. Dried fish. Oof. 
My time with Harold has come to an end. I hope one day he will find freedom and live a full life. Until then, he will continue to look for ways. All right, so we got one more set. Yeah. Uh, we can we can skip Join some of these sandwiches. Sandwiches? Do they really taste better cut diagonally? Yes. Let the evidence decide. I don't know. Do you Thank cut your sandwiches you. uh, diagonal? What do you? How do you cut your sandwiches, Amanda? Uh, Two pieces of bread. You can cut it in half. I usually do like horrible. Jesus, I feel like I asked the prisoner about a clock while I'm looking at my watch. Great. Yet another depressing show on TV. I love them. Murder fish. You put this man on television. An angry vegan. Yeah. So yeah what? Uh, squares. Horizontal? I do, yeah. I, you know, I do um, diagonal? straight, straight line typically. If I'm cutting for somebody else, I uh, do diagonal because I think it presents fancy. nicer. Yeah. But if I'm doing it for myself, I, pr I won't even cut it. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll just eat the whole thing. <laughs> uh, okay, TV and, and the bed. All right, sweet bed. One more time. Let's go ahead and jump forward a little bit. I wonder if it wonder if it'll repeat itself or if it's got enough for you to do. I would hope it, he has enough, but isolation is oh, no yeah, it seems like joke. This, this is different, right? I think so. It's not just boring; it's lonely too. <laughs> Nobody understands that more than the subject of tonight's episode of How to Cope with Boredom and Loneliness: A Guide for the Isolated. Hello, I'm Nigel Wimble. Hi Nigel. Hi Nigel. Harold Fletcher has been grounded to his making plans since for Nigel. 1986. That's over. I was born in 1987. Years. His mother yeah. has offered yeah. us a rare glimpse into his life as prisoner and son. On your feet, Fletcher. You have a visitor. <laughs> She's like a warden now. I hope to learn how Harold has coped with the boredom and loneliness from 30 years of isolation. Isolation. I don't know much about art. But I know all the greats had one thing in common. No ears. <laughs> awful mothers. Really? Could be I feel like he's making that up. I created this piece when I was about nine years old. I had planned for an entire underwater scene, but only got as far as these fish before mother burst through the door screaming. I was so startled, I stumbled and fell from the shelf, causing myself a serious back injury. The broken bones eventually healed on their own, but my breathing can be quite wheezy. Okay. I'm quite sure I needed medical attention, but Mother said only good boys are allowed to access the ambulance so service. I and he's never drawn on the wall since. Yeah. Yikes. I feel like maybe they're both at fault here. <laughs> Isolated idiot. Watching television <laughs> is an escapism. We Fuck you, Nigel. I don't come into your yeah, documentary. God, Mother treated yeah. me to a modern television last year. She says if I'm good this year, she will allow me to keep the plug for an extra ten minutes. But you haven't been good, have you, Harold? Tell the man about the carrot you stuck up your nose. I told you not to smuggle food in here. <laughs> well, Kevin likes a snack when we watch the first 23 minutes of a movie. What? Because he's not allowed to watch a movie for... Oh, okay. Okay. Harold still sleeps in the plastic race car bed he slipped in as man, a I child. I want some, like, you can modern bunk beds. Dreaming about driving away from this isolated, childlike reality. <laughs> Well, I always had a passion for race cars as a child, but I suppose that passion has since left me. On account of it being bed. 30 years. So I can't complain. The springs merely provide moderate pain, and my feet dangle no more than 7 to 10 inches from the end of the mattress. Like Mother always says, as long as your head is above water, you can technically sleep anywhere. Okay. Well... That's it. Nothing left on the cutting room floor. Yay. Yep. Has come to an okay, so next. Yep. Join us next week. Sandwiches. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So that's it. That was how to cope with uh, boredom and loneliness. Yay. We got right around 30 minutes. I stopped my child drawing, forcing her to smoke an entire <laughs> carton of crayons. crayons. She'd be happy the TV is switched off. He doesn't have to watch this drivel. Ooh. Chris from Gobscockle. Yep. I laugh so hard I shit milk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you space perverts. <laughs> I laugh so hard I shit milk. <laughs> you know what? Uh, this free game had space perverts, milk shitting, the KGB uh, <laughs> song, and uh, this like a, the race car, uh, the Ben man, race car this song. This is the best game we've played in years. Yep. 
Patreon. Links are down below. You know, um, we will make you laugh so hard you will <laughs> shit milk. You will shit milk. <laughs> Amazon, like, whatever, man. You will shit milk. I can't do better than that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.